to like want to show people not just a kickboxer. So there you go. Another, yeah. Another way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm exactly still. Uh, probably, huh? so, sorry. Did it go exactly as you planned then? No, yeah. Wanna... Yeah. I had some. I had a game plan. Um, also my stand up to throw uh, shots. But uh, like I say, you know, my 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 fight camp is now that also I'm feeling comfortable on the ground and uh, I have now more skills also on the ground so yeah I feel uh, I feel more uh, on both stand up and on the ground I, I explore more as an MMA fighter so uh, yeah this is just another lesson another win and now up to the next one <laughs> I mean it started out you guys were throwing pretty pretty solid there for the first 90 seconds or so I mean did you figure that would be the case that you guys would be throwing back and forth for, for a little bit before it would maybe go to the ground? Yeah, I, I wasn't planned to go to the ground because uh, I was planned uh, to, to s keep my stand up. But I saw that she made a mistake, she turned her back and then I still saw a chance, okay, I take her down. And I never the, didn't even think that I could make a rear neck choke because yeah, this, I, I, you know, it's, I feel now at this point, I feel now, I, I can't believe it, this whole road in the MMA, and now that I, you know, I, I see myself also growing as an MMA fighter, so, yeah, I'm still a flower guest. <laughs> well, and I, I would assume the important thing for you is that other people in the division now see that you can do all kinds of different things, you present all kinds of problems potentially yeah. for them if, you, if you're matched up against them down the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, that's what I say, that it, everybody thinks, oh, she's a kickboxer, oh, uh, but I want to show everyone, yes, I am a kickboxer, but I can do so many things also on the ground, and now that I have my, my new head coach, Bob Schreiber, at, at, with the team Schreiber, I, I see myself so much more growing as an MMA fighter and li like you see in my fights in my fights it's now more than just a kickboxer so you escaped this uh, fight you know you get the submission real quick did you plan on that or was it uh to go three rounds with Christina? Uh, well, I wasn't planned to go three rounds. I, I was I was thinking to knock her out. <laughs> that was the game plan. But uh, I saw that she made a mistake and then I, yeah, I take my chance to go to the ground and I know that I'm also now comfortable on the ground. And yeah, like you see in MMA, you, you have to get one mistake and then you get the pus punishment to tap. And uh, that's also something that I learn, you know. And um, I want to show with my fights that I'm, I'm more, more and more an MMA fighter to become more an MMA fighter. You said that uh, she she made the mistake. Do you think uh, this was her last fight on the Bellator contract, and she wanted to make a statement with this fight against you to get another contract? Do you think that kind of was on her mind as well? And having you as the opponent at the same time? I think, um, you know, for every fighter, it's really you have so much pressure if you know that's your last fight on your contract. And I really hope all the best for her. So I, I wasn't, my game plan wasn't nothing to do with that it was her last fight or, you know, I, I, I'm a fighter and she's also a fighter and I really hope that she take the best in the future and if it with Bellator or with someone else I think she's a, she's a good fighter and she was a good opponent but uh, tonight it was my night. <laughs> Do you want to defend your uh, Bellator kickboxing belt or do you want to get back in the cage for an MMA fight? Um, I, it all depends on Bellator, but if I have to be honest, in kickboxing I am the world champion for years and I fought the best of the best and I won, I have six world titles, so there's no more fire in that division for me. And in MMA there's so much more. and. I think my my um, my if I have to be honest that in MMA I think now I find my place and I'm really eager and hungry to get to get a better version of myself and to go one one day for the belt. So yeah, my future I see now in MMA I see more more uh, progression. And how far away do you think you are from fighting for that yeah. the Bellator MMA title? I think uh, we hope one more fight. One more win, and then I'm thousand percent ready for the world champion uh, for Alima Leia or maybe someone else, but for the title shots.
And who do you credit this submission win to? You know, we, everyone was expecting you to pull off a knockout, but you pulled off an amazing rear naked choke. Who do you credit that to? I want to credit to my trainer. <laughs> my, uh, he's standing behind you, Bob Schreiber. We trained so much, and he uh, let me see another version of myself. Because before, I was not really like uh, confident on the ground. I know that I can stand up, but I was not really confident. And he made me so stronger on both platforms, so well on the ground as as my stand up, I feel now more comfortable. Also with my hits, now that my hits are coming more aggression and more coming forward. So yeah, and of course my husband, he was yesterday, he was his birthday and I promised him to give him a nice birthday present. And um, yeah, I think with this fight, I uh, make him proud and um, I give him a good birthday present. So uh, now we can celebrate. <laughs> What are y'all going to do to celebrate anything wild while you're out here in Oklahoma? Uh, well, I think we're going to go to the bar. <laughs> and my trainer likes, uh, likes really like, um, like special beer. And uh, I think my husband now, now we can really <laughs> cheer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. About 30 seconds before the finish, you smiled at her. Is it because you caught her and you knew she was hurt? Um, <laughs> And then at the end, you look extra elated or happy. Was that because you finished her with a rear naked choke? Yeah, yeah, it was. You know, like I said, on the ground, I wasn't not before. I was not really confident that I can do so much. I was just depending on my judo skills. But now I see that I'm growing also on the ground with so much more submissions and a rear naked choke. I a year ago, if you asked me if I could win with a rear neck choke, I would laugh, you know. I, I don't even know that I can do that. So every time if I step in the cage, I see an, another myself. I see another version of myself, a better version. And sometimes I get scared of myself too, that I think, oh, wow, can I do that, you know. So, yeah, it's all like a dream. And um, now it, everything comes, uh, comes in and uh, I still cannot believe that that my fight went this way. <laughs> well, you are definitely very well rounded. Um, you did great, and I always see success in your future, so good job. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And please hit that like and subscribe button below, and make sure to follow us on all your social media accounts. Well, until next time, my friends.